Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from What Geek. This is the Mechanic K500F-B81 RGB Clear Mechanical Keyboard. This is a wired-only keyboard uh, that has a total transparent deck, and you can go and get this at What Geek, and they're celebrating their anniversary sale from now until October 10th. So go check them out at the link below. We're going to dig into this keyboard now, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is everything that you get once you get it out of the box. The first thing we're going to take a look at is the documentation for the K500F-B81 uh, from Mechanic. This has a, a lot of good information in it. It's written in two different languages, uh, but uh, you can see here it's got your connectivity, which is USB wired. Uh, it's an 81 key keyboard. Uh, it's got 12 multimedia keys, full N key rollover, uh, and it weighs about 850 grams total. Uh, it does have all your multimedia shortcuts here, so all of your function shortcuts will be listed there. And then it has all of your 16 different RGB uh, backlight effects and how to change and adjust those. Hold on to that just in case you need to. Look at it for reference. Now in this little bag here, we've got a couple different things. Uh, we've got a couple extra uh, switches here, and this particular switch that I have in here is the G Rule Ice Linear Switch. Uh, more for comfortable typing than gaming, and it's going to be fairly silent. You can see it's a transparent switch as well to fit the rest of the style of the keyboard. You also get a keycap puller and a switch puller as well, because you can uh, pull all of these keys and switches uh, and replace them with ones uh, that you like if you don't like the ones out of the box. Now this has a standard USB type A to right angle USB type C because the connection for this is on the side of the keyboard. So to keep it from pointing straight out and taking more space on your desk, it was thoughtful that they put in a right angle USB type C connection. Looking at the keyboard itself, again, this is a TKL uh, 81 key keyboard, uh, total transparent deck, keys, and switches, so it's really going to let that RGB shine through here. And being an 81 uh, key keyboard or a TKL keyboard, it's going to save uh, some space on your desk. You can see that we've got a lot of really good dampening here. It's gasket mounted, uh, so you can see that there. Uh, we do have uh, some other things like a silicone base pad that is also going to add uh, to that dampening uh, and just the overall feeling of the typing on the keyboard. You also have this multimedia knob here that will be uh, by default set for uh, volume up and volume down by scrolling and then by pressing it will be play and pause. It has a nice clickiness to it. It is made out of metal uh, and it does a really nice job. It just has a nice tactile feel when you're using the knob itself. Now you can also adjust the RGB and I'll show you that uh, with the knob itself if you don't want to do key combinations. So there are two different ways that you can do this. Actually three if you include the included software. Now on the bottom we have some levelers here and they're dual levelers so you can set your angle to your preferred angle uh, for your comfortability there which is a nice addition instead of only having uh, kind of one option you've got multiple options. And you can see on the left hand side we have our USB Type-C uh, wired connection. Now they must have partnered up with Red Dragon because you do see the Red Dragon logo there uh, so that's an interesting thing as well. But overall this is a nice sturdy deck. Uh, has a minimal flex to it, and that is the unboxing of the K500F. Okay, so I pulled off a few of the keys here because I did want you to check out uh, the compatibility with this. Uh, again, I have the G Rule ICE linear switches. They also have G Rule Crystal tactical switches uh, if you like that more clickiness instead of more silent uh, setup there. Uh, you can see that this is a three post and you can also looking into the deck itself see that we can uh, 
add five post ones as well. Uh, there are five holes there, uh, so you can switch these out. Now, be aware that these are north-facing LEDs, uh, so whatever keycaps or switches you're going to use, uh, note that the deck itself is a north-facing LED, uh, but overall, uh, should be pretty easy for you to set this up uh, with anything that you like. As far as the keycaps go, a totally transparent here, uh, letting that RGB shine through, which I'll show you in just a few moments. Uh, and again, you can replace them with other ones if you don't like these personally. I found them to be uh, perfectly fine for my usage. Okay, so let's talk RGB here. Now, it's uh, not going to be kind of blinking like you see it on the screen uh, because it's interfering with my overhead LED lights a little bit, uh, but it does come through very, very well. Now, if you hold down the multimedia button for three seconds, you'll get some blinking there, and you'll be able to make some adjustments uh, by the wheel itself. You can see that I can press the button and I can change uh, through any one of my 16 different uh, setups here. Uh, so you can see no problems switching through using that. And if I find one that I like, I just have to hold down the multimedia knob again for three seconds. It'll flash blue and it will save my selection. So uh, that is a, a quick and easy way to go through without having to do either the software or a, a function button combination. But I will show you the function button combinations as well in just a second. Uh, so there you go. It's pretty simple to be able to just use this knob uh, to quickly change the effect you want. And then if you like this effect, just hold it down for three seconds. It'll blink again and it will retain that effect. Now we can also uh, use the function buttons to uh, change this to whatever effect we would like. And we can adjust uh, the speed and brightness with the arrow keys. And uh, we can do the brightness up with the up arrow key and down with the down arrow key and function key. Uh, you've got three, four levels of brightness there. And you do have your left and right keys, which will uh, make the animation faster or slower. To the right is going to be faster, and function left will make it slower, so you can slow it down that way as well. So pretty interesting there to be able to do that with uh, different animations that you have. Now, a function insert is going to be what we're going to do to flip through them very quickly. Uh, and I will flip through some of them just to show them to you uh, so that you can see all the ones that are there. Uh, but the function insert key right uh, below the multimedia knob is going to be how we're going to be able to do that. Also, function spacebar will turn everything off. It's a kind of a quick off toggle. So if you just wanted to quickly turn things off or on, you can do function spacebar. So function insert uh, is going to switch us through the modes that if we want to switch through them. Uh, so you can do this uh, instead of using the uh, multimedia wheel, uh, but you can do this as well. So you've got plenty of ways to adjust how you like this. Uh, and we also have a full software suite as well. Uh, so we'll take a look at that real quickly and show you how we can really fine tune this. Okay, so last but not least, we have our software suite uh, for the K500F. Uh, and you can see here that we've got uh, several layers that we can switch through and we can set things per key uh, so we can actually change the layouts of all the keys if we want to. Say I want to select a certain key, uh, I can easily select like my number two key and then I can make it uh, any other letter or number that's in this list, a mouse action, uh, multimedia keys, uh, macros, commands. 
Uh, so I can do like a Windows command or I can do a save or I can do a uh, lock computer even. Uh, and then of course we've got key combinations and I can save those or reset the key itself. So you have all of this per key uh, to really a deep dive into this and select individual keys and set them up for however you would like to. Now on here we have our profiles and we can add different profiles uh, so that we can switch back and forth really quickly. We can export those profiles and then import them as well. Uh, and then up here, we've got our uh, global settings. This is going to tell you your firmware and software versions, uh, your language, uh, whether you want it to auto run on startup, what you want it to do when it exits, uh, your tap and sensitivity, uh, sleep uh, it will turn off the lights if the keyboard is not used after two minutes, but you can adjust that time or not have it sleep at all. It is a wired keyboard, so you do not have to worry about battery life also reset it back to factory as well. Now under lighting we've got all of our uh, many modes that we can use and they're on the keyboard too as well which I like with this software uh, allows me to adjust the brightness the speed and of course the color uh, and I can see exactly what neon stream does on the keyboard without even having to look at the keyboard because the effect is right there in the software which is really nice. So you can go through each one of these uh, and select one that you like. Maybe you just want to have a, you know, always on or off. You can do all of those right there. Now we have a full macro editing panel here where we can import, export, copy macros, delete them, and of course create them and save them here on a record macros so that they can be bound to specific keys as well. Down here we have our final page, which is a uh, system uh, sound rhythm effect. So there are some rhythm effects that you can do here, uh, and you can change the gain factor and the smoothness at the bottom. Uh, and what this will do is when your system or whatever you're uh, thinking about using on your system, whether it be a game or music or something like that, uh, the keyboard will react to that uh, and you will be able to adjust it to your liking as well with a bunch of different effects uh, based on sound and what your computer is doing. So that is actually pretty cool. It's, a, it's another extra layer of lighting that you can add into the K500F. Overall, this is a really nice software suite that pretty much covers everything that I can think of here, uh, and there really isn't anything else uh, that I would like to see added to it, uh, and works really well. Okay, so that's my review of, of the Mechanic K500F-81 Transparent TKL keyboard, and you can pick this up at whatgeek.com. Again, I'll have all the links below for you to go check out what geek and this is the time to check out what geek because they are having their anniversary sale that is going to run through october 10th uh, so you might want to check it out there's some really incredible deals over at what geek right now with uh, percentages off and if you spend a certain amount they may even throw in a free keyboard for you as well as for the K500F, I really like its uh, transparent design. Uh, it's very comfortable to type on, especially with those G Rule Ice linear switches. If you're going to be gaming, you may want to go with the Crystal Tactical switches, uh, or it's hot swappable, so you can switch out for whichever ones you want. Uh, overall, I enjoyed uh, reviewing this keyboard and uh, typing on it, uh, and it has a lot of really good features and definitely uh, really stands out with that RGB and its transparent deck, keys, and switches. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. I hope you enjoyed my review, and I'll check you guys out on the next one.